Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft. I am Gear360, and I welcome you to my world. When last we uh, left off, I was preparing to go down into uh, a ravine, hopefully to find the treasure of all treasures. But as I was wandering around looking for um, skeletons to kill for their bones, I found a little place here with some coal just a little off to one side of my house so still am getting ready I took a few minutes to uh, do some setup around the house get a few items together oh look at that oh, that's a game changer not really there's not a lot no. That's actually fairly reasonable. I'll invest that in a pick. You know, I can probably get a sword, too. I'm never... Mm. Oh, dear. I don't like playing games defensively, if you will. So, I'm never one to do a lot with armor. Uh, I'll do a lot with swords, I'll do a lot with picks and all that jazz, but I've never been one to make armor. That's a failing of mine, I guess, because it's particularly good stuff. Hold on. Let's get some sand while I'm here. Oh, interesting. There we go. bought it there. There's something down here. I'm hearing spiders. I don't know if they're coming from this way, but I would certainly assume so. Ah, there we go. Let's see what we got. A little spot check here. I'm not going to go too deep because ooh, this could be another ravine. Uh, is that wood? No, dirt. Anyway, <clears throat> I am uh, I am making my target that uh, that ravine before the episode ends. We'll at least get there, set up, and now it's getting dark. So time for a run home. Mm, so many chances and opportunities, and if I had more food, I you know what. I'm going to make a stupid mistake here because it's what I do. And I'm going to stay down here. I mean, no reason to risk running back, right? I'm going to get a little more coal while I'm down here. I mean, charcoal's fine and all, but it's wasting all that wood to get it. Can't pass up iron. So yeah, it, it's I'm one of those weird Minecraft players who tries to play it a little bit like real life. Like, how would I respond to? Obviously, if I found a vein of iron, I wouldn't know what in the world to do with it. But you know, if it's more efficient to find new veins of coal than it is to make charcoal, then I'm going to do it that way. Ooh, that's a dark drop. Hold on. Oh, look. Creeper. I wonder if I can kill him off with... Nope. I think I saw my spidery buddy, too. Uh, and I've aggroed a zombie. Hold on. That was dumb. That was dumb. That was dumb. There we go. I'd like to kill him, but... Oh, I know there are more zombies, and now they're all on me. Let's see if we can't get rid of some of this coal. Oh, I hear them. Oh, 
ask not for who the zombie growls. Oh, there's a lot of them. That is... Yep, that's what I was afraid of. And now it's a keep them off of my head battle. More? Yep, here they come. I'm so used to playing Feed the Beast. I keep expecting one of them to have red eyes and a giant head. Be super fast, super strong. I'm glad they're not, though. Let's... play around here with some defensive systems. It's not that great, but hopefully it'll... No, there's still a... It's like they can't find their way to me. I'm not complaining, mind. But, uh... Let's see. I want to be very, very careful with this. This is gorgeous. I hope I didn't leave any doors open back at home. Well, they all got pressure plates on them, so they should close automatically. So now that we've got some actual coal instead of charcoal, um, which I like for reasons having nothing to do with logic, I'm going to light this up a bit. Ooh, more iron. I'll take that. Oh. I'll take that later. I was watching uh, <coughs> Seth Bling talk about a new filter he wrote, if you will, for MC Edit. Oh, you sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. There we go. Oh, iron I missed. Anyway, he was talking about a new filter he built for MC Edit that basically all it did was change the range a uh, zombie could follow from. That's it. You know, just said it could follow from 150 blocks instead of, you know, however many it is. And it was insane. And then he, oh, ow, 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 ow. Ah, that could have ended this fairly quickly. Oh, no, 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 please, no, no, no. Ow. Ow, what, 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 zombie? should have guessed. Okay, I want out of here. I don't know, I'm beginning to wonder if zombies aren't just too much. I mean, now he's changed the coding so that... Now he's changed the coding that they, in darkness, actually have a chance of spawning more zombies. And I'm like, yeah. Wait, where am I? Oh, great. Now I'm lost. This is not good. There it is. Home, sweet home. Oh, you're kidding me. 
forget that, son. That is frightening. I have never seen anything quite like that. And this is just normal mode. I can't even imagine what hard would be like. That would be a nightmare. I think all the skeletons are trying to get in the water over here. Ah, but bones, that's what I was after. And they're everywhere. Alright, so now I can play around with my farm a bit more. Oh, are you kidding me? You know what I ought to do is just, instead of playing this game with the, <laughs> instead of playing this game with the uh, knocking down all the weeds, I ought to just get a flint and tinder and go to town. Right, so let's get some bone meal in here. Empty out my, empty out my pockets. Um, oh, that's wasteful. some of this stuff. I could certainly afford to make another another couple of chests. Is that just one? Did I get one carrot from that? Okay. There we go. Now we're starting to get some return. That's what we want. Good. Alright, now the farm's starting to look more reasonable. We can get rid of the wheat fairly quickly. And then move on to straight carrots. And then when we take on that, uh, take on that ravine, we can maybe get some very tasty uh, potatoes from down there eventually. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to actually get... I don't have any food, but I can certainly take some supplies down there and get a base of operations going, so I think I'll do that before we head out. And... Ordinarily, I'd like to have more supplies with me, but I guess this will do. Let's go see what we can find in that ravine. This will just be a quick little jaunt. What's the best angle of attack on this thing? That looks good. Maybe we'll just come down here. This is good a ravine, good a ravine as I've seen. Good and clean, good and open. Can you imagine getting bombed by a creeper right there? That would be, so, I would be so angry. Oh, just fall to your death, lose all your stuff in that ravine. Uh, I cringe just to think about it. I'd like... Oh, hello, skeleton. I think I'll set up my little way station here for now. It's over out of the way, but I think this will be where I set up a refueling depot so I don't have to go too far. I said early on I don't like to make a lot of ladders, but I'm going to break that for this. So, we'll just make a quick wall off. A 
That's nice. A pillar. Ah, uh, I was right the first time. A pillar for support. Ah, stupid. I knew better than that. Torch. Torch. And I think we'll call that done. Alright. So between uh, now and when we meet again, I will clean this up a bit, make the walkway a little bit more secure, and uh, bring some supplies down here so we can start our operation. Folks, I want to thank you again for uh, being here with me. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. I know I am enjoying making it. And I hope you'll tune in next time to see exactly what we can find in the deep dark recesses of this cavern. Until then, this is the Gear 360, and I bid you all a very fond farewell.